So, I have a problem. I have too many printers. Too many printers, you might say, well, that's not really a problem. Just pick a printer and use it. Well, if you're saying that, you're completely wrong. Here, take a walk with me. Don't mind the mess, I'll blur it in post. So here, in the kitchen, we have my 3D printer. It's perfect and lovely, and it produces 3D models really well. And here, in the bedroom, I have my laser printer. And it's also lovely, but the issue is that, well, it exists. And I'll tell people something like my printer's acting up, and they'll ask which printer, and well, that starts conversation, and I cannot and will not condone social interaction between human beings. So, my options are obviously as follows. Option one, get rid of the 3D printer and make the laser printer print in 3D. Or option two, get rid of the laser printer and make the 3D printer print in 2D. So naturally, I'm going with option two, because I came up with a video idea first, and then invented a problem to justify it later. Not that any of you could tell though, because it's such a convincing ploy. So basically I duct taped a pen to the printhead, and I'm just gonna get it to draw out all my important documents. Now, I've seen other people do this before, but my main issue with their methods is that they drew up all their documents in the CAD software, which is really great, but super inefficient. So naturally, I wanna use Microsoft Word. Well, more precisely, I wanna use LibreOffice Writer because I'm cheap. So what's the solution then? Lithoplanes. There's this setting in Cura where you can import an image and convert it into a height map, then in export that as G-code to be printed as a lithoplane. And G-code is essentially just instructions for the printer. So let's give it a try. I'm writing an important document, writing an important document, writing an important document. Dun, 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 dun. Now I'm just gonna take a screenshot so I have it's a lovely JPEG file, and then I'll just pop it into Cura, et voila. Now, obviously we only care about the first layer because we're 2D printing. So I just mucked around on the Cura settings a little bit to hopefully get it to print a little better. By the way, in the unlikely event that you're interested in trying this out yourself, I've included my Ender 3 slicer preset and a couple of other files in the video description, so it's there for you. Now, this should probably take around three hours to complete. And I know what you're thinking, but Noah, your laser printer can probably print a page in about 30 seconds. Yeah, well, this is just the kind of sacrifice you have to make in the name of efficiency. Anyways, here's the result. It's a bit of a mess, but it's definitely better than the result I would have gotten if I'd asked the laser printer to 3D print. And the printer missed a few bits, but we're just gonna gloss over that. And now I can have less conversations with other people. Did you print this? Yes. How? It looks awful. And now I can do this with my printer. That was convincing enough, right? Because I don't actually have the budget to break it. Ah, an end card. I'm almost out of time. Well, like, subscribe, comment, dislike, throw your best mate in the sea. Uh, that's interesting. The channel link is missing. I'll, I'll make one. All right, bye. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis?